Library and Information Science lease, sometimes given as the plural Library and Information Sciences or as Library and Information Studies, is a merging of library science and information science. The joint term is associated with schools of library and information science abbreviated to SLIS. In the last part of the 1960s, schools of librarianship, which generally developed from professional training programs not academic disciplines to university institutions during the second half of the 20th century, began to add the term, "...information science," to their names. The first school to do this was at the University of Pittsburgh in 1964. More schools followed during the 1970s and 1980s, and by the 1990s almost all library schools in the USA had added information science to their names. Weaver Press Although there are exceptions, similar developments have taken place in other parts of the world. In Denmark, for example, the Royal School of Librarianship changed its English name to the Royal School of Library and Information Science in 1997. Exceptions include Tromsø, Norway, where the term documentation science is the preferred name of the field, France, where information science and communication studies form one interdiscipline, and Sweden, where the fields of archival science, library science and museology have been integrated as archival, library and museum studies. In spite of various trends to merge the two fields, some consider the two original disciplines, library science and information science, to be separate. However, the tendency today is to use the terms as synonyms or to drop the term library and to speak about information departments or i schools. There have also been attempts to revive the concept of documentation and to speak of library, information and documentation studies or science. Relations between library science, information science and lease Tefko Sarasevich argued that library science and information science are separate fields The common ground between library science and information science, which is a strong one, is in the sharing of their social role and in their general concern with the problems of effective utilization of graphic records. But there are also very significant differences in several critical respects, among them in, one, selection of problems addressed and in the way they were defined, two, theoretical questions asked and frameworks established, three, the nature and degree of experimentation and empirical development and the resulting practical knowledge, competencies derived, four, tools and approaches used, and five, the nature and strength of interdisciplinary relations established and the dependence of the progress and evolution of interdisciplinary disciplinary approaches. All of these differences warrant the conclusion that librarianship and information science are two different fields in a strong interdisciplinary relation, rather than one and the same field, or one being a special case of the other. Another indication of the different uses of the two terms are the indexing in UMI's dissertations abstracts. In dissertations abstracts online on November 2011 were 4,888 dissertations indexed with the descriptor Library Science and 9,053 with the descriptor Information Science. For the year 2009 the numbers were 104 Library Science and 514 Information Science. 891 dissertations were indexed with both terms 36 in 2009. It should be considered that information science grew out of documentation science and therefore has a tradition for considering scientific and scholarly communication, bibliographic databases, subject knowledge and terminology etc. Library science, on the other hand has mostly concentrated on libraries and their internal processes and best practices. It is also relevant to consider that information science used to be done by scientists, while librarianship has been split between public libraries and scholarly research libraries. Library schools have mainly educated librarians for public libraries and not shown much interest in scientific communication and documentation. 
When information scientists from 1964 entered library schools, they brought with them competencies in relation to information retrieval in subject databases, including concepts such as recall and precision, Boolean search techniques, query formulation and related issues. Subject bibliographic databases and citation indexes provided a major step forward in information dissemination, and also in the curriculum at library schools. Julian Warner 2010 suggests that the information and computer science tradition in information retrieval may broadly be characterized as query transformation, with the query articulated verbally by the user in advance of searching and then transformed by a system into a set of records. From librarianship and indexing, on the other hand, has been an implicit stress on selection power enabling the user to make relevant selections. Topic. Difficulties defining lease The question, what is library and information science, does not elicit responses of the same internal conceptual coherence as similar inquiries as to the nature of other fields, e.g., what is chemistry, what is economics, what is medicine, each of those fields, though broad in scope, has clear ties to basic concerns of their field, Neither lease theory nor practice is perceived to be monolithic nor unified by a common literature or set of professional skills. Occasionally, lease scholars many of whom do not self-identify as members of an interreading lease community, or prefer names other than lease, attempt, but are unable, to find core concepts in common. Some believe that computing and internetworking concepts and skills underlie virtually every important aspect of lease, indeed see lease as a sub-field of computer science. Footnote 3.1 Others claim that lease is principally a social science accompanied by practical skills such as ethnography and interviewing. Historically, traditions of public service, bibliography, documentalism, and information science have viewed their mission, their philosophical toolsets, and their domain of research differently. Still others deny the existence of a greater metropolitan lease, viewing lease instead as a loosely organized collection of specialized interests often unified by nothing more than their shared and fought over use of the descriptor information. Indeed, claims occasionally arise to the effect that the field even has no theory of its own. Conrad, 2007, p. 652 653. Topic A Multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary, or monodisciplinary field? The Swedish researcher Emman Tengström described cross disciplinary research as a process, not a state or structure. He differentiates three levels of ambition regarding cross-disciplinary research, the pluridisciplinary or multidisciplinarity level the genuine cross-disciplinary level, interdisciplinarity the discipline-forming level transdisciplinarity what is described here is a view of social fields as dynamic and changing. Library and information science is viewed as a field that started as a multidisciplinary field based on literature, psychology, sociology, management, computer science etc., which is developing towards an academic discipline in its own right. However, the following quote seems to indicate that Lease is actually developing in the opposite direction. Chur and Yang 2008 studied papers published in Journal of the American Society for Information Science and Technology in the period 1988 to 1997 and found, among other things, top authors have grown in diversity from those being affiliated predominantly with library information related departments to include those from information systems management, information technology, business, and the humanities. Amid heterogeneous clusters of collaboration among top authors, strongly connected cross-disciplinary co-author pairs have become more prevalent. 
Correspondingly, the distribution of top keywords occurrences that leans heavily on core information science has shifted towards other subdisciplines such as information technology and sociobehavioral science. A more recent study revealed that 31% of the papers published in 31 lease journals from 2007 through 2012 were by authors in academic departments of library and information science, i.e., those offering degree programs accredited by the American Library Association. Association or similar professional organizations in other countries. Faculty in departments of computer science 10%, management 10%, communication 3%, the other social sciences 9%, and the other natural sciences 7% were also represented. Nearly one quarter of the papers in the 31 journals were by practicing librarians, and 6% were by others in non-academic positions, as a field with its own body of interrelated concepts, techniques, journals, and professional associations, lease is clearly a discipline. But by the nature of its subject matter and methods lease is just as clearly an interdiscipline, drawing on many adjacent fields see below. Topic: A fragmented adhocracy. Richard Whitley (1984–2000) classified scientific fields according to their intellectual and social organization and described management studies as a fragmented adhocracy, a field with a low level of coordination around a diffuse set of goals and a non-specialized terminology, but with strong connections to the practice in the business sector. Astrom 2006 applied this conception to the description of lease. Topic scattering of the literature Mayho and Spurgen 2005 found that in a list of 2,625 items published between 1982 and 2002 by 68 faculty members of 18 schools of library and information science, only 10 databases provided significant coverage of the lease literature. Results also show that restricting the data sources to one, two, or even three databases leads to inaccurate rankings and erroneous conclusions. Because no database provides comprehensive coverage of the lease literature, researchers must rely on a wide range of disciplinary and multidisciplinary databases for ranking and other research purposes. Even when the nine most comprehensive databases in lease was searched and combined, 27.0% of 2,635 of the publications remain not found. The study confirms earlier research that lease literature is highly scattered and is not limited to standard lease databases. What was not known or verified before, however, is that a significant amount of this literature is indexed in the interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary databases of INSIDE conferences and INSPEC. Other interdisciplinary databases, such as America, History and Life, were also found to be very useful and complementary to traditional lease databases, particularly in the areas of archives and library history. Mayho and Spurgen, 2005, p.1329. Topic: The unique concern of library and information science. Concern for people becoming informed is not unique to lease, and thus is insufficient to differentiate lease from other fields. Lease are a part of a larger enterprise. Conrad, 2007, p. 655. The unique concern of lease is recognized as statement of the core concern of lease. Humans becoming informed, constructing meaning via intermediation between inquirers and instrumented records. No other field has this as its concern. Conrad, 2007, p. 660. Note that the promiscuous term information does not appear in the above statement circumscribing the field's central concerns. The detrimental effects of the ambiguity this term provokes are discussed above. Part 3. Ferner, Ferner 2004, 427 has shown that discourse in the field is improved where specific terms are utilized in place of the I word for specific senses of that term. Conrad, 2007, p. 661. 
Michael Buckland wrote, "...educational programs in library, information and documentation are concerned with what people know, are not limited to technology, and require wide-ranging expertise." They differ fundamentally and importantly from computer science programs and from the information systems programs found in business schools. Borden and Robinson argue that while information science has overlaps with numerous other disciplines with interest in studying communication, it is unique in that it is concerned with all aspects of the communication chain. For example computer science may be interested in the indexing and retrieval, sociology with user studies, and publishing business with dissemination, whereas information science is interested in the study of all of these individual areas and the interactions between them. The organization of information and information resources is one of the fundamental aspects of LEASE, and is an example of both LIS's uniqueness and its multidisciplinary origins. Some of the main tools used by LEASE toward this end to provide access to the digital resources of modern times particularly theory relating to indexing and classification originated in 19th century to assist humanity's effort to make its intellectual output accessible by recording, identifying, and providing bibliographic control of printed knowledge. Dot. The origin for some of these tools were even earlier. For example, in the 17th century, during the «Golden Age of Libraries», publishers and sellers seeking to take advantage of the burgeoning book trade developed descriptive catalogues of their wares for distribution, a practice was adopted and further extrapolated by many libraries of the time to cover areas like philosophy, sciences, linguistics, medicine, etc. In this way, a business concern of publishers, keeping track of an advertising inventory, was developed into a system for organizing and preserving information by the library. The development of metadata is another area that exemplifies the aim of LEASE to be something more than a mishmash of several disciplines, that uniqueness Borden and Robinson describe. Pre-internet classification systems and cataloging systems were mainly concerned with two objectives, one, to provide rich bibliographic descriptions and relations between information objects and two, to facilitate sharing of this bibliographic information across library boundaries. The development of the Internet and the information explosion that followed found many communities needing mechanisms for the description, authentication and management of their information. These communities developed taxonomies and controlled vocabularies to describe their knowledge as well as unique information architectures to communicate these classifications and libraries found themselves as liaison or translator between these metadata systems. Of course the concerns of cataloging in the Internet era have gone beyond simple bibliographic descriptions. The need for descriptive information about the ownership and copyright of a digital product, a publishing concern, and description for the different formats and accessibility features of a resource, a sociological concern, show the continued development and cross-discipline necessity of resource description. <laughs> Lease theories Julian Warner 2010, p. 4 suggests that two paradigms, the cognitive and the physical, have been distinguished in information retrieval research, but they share the assumption of the value of delivering relevant records Ellis 1984, 19, Belkin and Vickery 1985, 114. For the purpose of discussion here, they can be considered a single heterogeneous paradigm, linked but not united by this common assumption. The value placed on query transformation is dissonant with common practice, where users may prefer to explore an area and may value fully informed exploration. Some dissenting research discussions have been more congruent with practice, advocating explorative capability, the ability to explore and make discriminations between representations of objects, as the fundamental design principle for information retrieval systems. The domain analytic approach e Hjorland, 2010, suggests that the relevant criteria for making discriminations in information retrieval are scientific and scholarly criteria. In some fields e evidence-based medicine the relevant distinctions are very explicit. In other cases they are implicit or unclear. 
At the basic level, the relevance of bibliographical records are determined by epistemological criteria of what constitutes knowledge. Among other approaches, evidence-based library and information practice should also be mentioned. Topic: Journals. See also list of least journals in India page, category, library science journals and journal citation reports for listing according to impact factor. Some core journals in lease are Annual Review of Information Science and Technology 1966-2011 El Professional de la Información EPI 1992 formerly Information World en Español Information Processing and Management Information Research, an International Electronic Journal 1995 Italian Journal of Library and Information Studies JLIS It Journal of Documentation JDOC 1945 Journal of Information Science JIS 1979 Journal of the Association for Information Science and Technology formerly Journal of the American Society for Information Science and Technology JASIST 1950 Knowledge Organization Journal, The Library Quarterly LQ 1931, Library Trends 1952, Scientometrics Journal 1978, Library Literature and Information Science Retrospective 1901 to 1983, Important bibliographical databases in lease are, among others, Social Sciences Citation Index and Library and Information Science Abstracts. Topic: Conferences. This is a list of some of the major conferences in the field. Annual Meeting of the American Society for Information Science and Technology Conceptions of Library and Information Science iSchools iConferences ISIC, the Information Behavior Conference http colon slash slash information r.net slash isic slash index html the International Federation of Library Associations and Institutions IFLA, World Library and Information Congress, https colon slash slash web archive org slash web slash two oh one five oh seven oh six one six four one four oh slash http colon slash slash conference ifla org slash the International Conferences of the International Society for Knowledge Organization ISKO, http colon slash slash www.isco.org slash events HTML Topic Common subfields An advertisement for a full professor in information science at the Royal School of Library and Information Science, Spring 2011, provides one view of which subdisciplines are well established. The research and teaching, supervision must be within some and at least one of these well established information science areas A. Knowledge Organization B. Library Studies C. Information Architecture D. Information Behavior E. Interactive Information Retrieval F. Information Systems G. Scholarly Communication H. Digital Literacy CF Information Literacy I. Bibliometrics or Scientometrics J. Interaction Design and User Experience K. Digital Library There are other ways to identify subfields within lease, for example bibliometric mapping and comparative studies of curricula. Bibliometric maps of lease have been produced by, among others, Vickery and Vickery 1987, Frontispiece, White and McCain 1998, Astrum 2002, 2006, and Hassan Montero and Herrero Solana 2007. An example of a curriculum study is Kyberg and Loring 2005. 
In this publication are the following data reported P234, degree of overlap of the ten curricular themes with subject areas in the current curricula of responding lease schools information seeking and information retrieval 100% library management and promotion 96% knowledge management 86% knowledge organization 82% information literacy and learning 76% library and society in a historical perspective library history 66% the information society, barriers to the free access to information 64% cultural heritage and digitization of the cultural heritage digital preservation 62% the library in the multicultural information society, international and intercultural communication 42% mediation of culture in a special European context 26% there is often an overlap between these subfields of lease and other fields of study. Most information retrieval research, for example, belongs to computer science. Knowledge management is considered a subfield of management or organizational studies. See also Archival science Authority control Bibliography Digital asset management Documentation science Education for librarianship Glossary of library and information science iSchool Information history Information systems Knowledge management Library and information scientist Metadata Museology Museum informatics Records management